chair lays out House Bill 1277. The chair recognizes Representative Kane to explain the bill. Thank you, Chairman Knauss, Vice Chair Rainey, committee members. I'm here today to present House Bill 1277, which seeks to amend the transportation code related to pedestrian use of the sidewalk. Currently, Section 552.006B of the Transportation Code stipulates that a pedestrian walking along a highway must, if possible, walk on the left side of the roadway or shoulder of the highway facing oncoming traffic. While this may seem like a reasonable requirement, it's led to the unnecessary arrest and detainment of pedestrians by law enforcement. We have a clear opportunity today to address the overly, pre overly prescriptive statute and provide Texans with a more sensible approach to pedestrian safety. To clear, by the way, that this bill leaves in place things like subsection A, well, this provision that prohibits pedestrians from walking along and on a roadway if an adjacent sidewalk is provided and is accessible to a pedestrian. As a reminder of the committee, though, last session, this committee unanimously passed out an identical piece of legislation. The bill was passed by the House by a vote of 92 ayes and 42 nays. Uh, similarly, similarly, in 2015, actually, um, this committee voted the similar leg same legislation out uh, unanimously as well. Um, with that, thank you for your time. I reserve the right to close. Chair recognizes Representative Rainey is present. Uh, there is no right to close, but we'll let you come address us. Correct. On. So, chair now calls Rick Briscoe or Briscoe Rick. I'm sorry. Rick Briscoe. Rick Briscoe. Please st come forward. State your full name, who you represent, and your position on the bill, please. Mr. Chairman, members, my name is Rick Briscoe. I'm testifying on my own behalf. Um, I'll tell the story. Your position on the bill, sir. Uh, I am very much for the bill, sir. We'll have you for the bill. Please proceed. Uh, I'll tell the story of a peaceful walk in the country. A man who was subsequently to become a close friend, Mr. C.J. Grisham, was on a 10-mile hike out in farmland to the west of the city of Temple. Uh, he was carrying a, a AR-15 a civilian rifle, uh, because of wild animals out in the countryside. He was conducting a 10-mile walk with his son for a Boy Scout merit badge. Someone called in saying there was a man carrying a rifle on the street. The, the police showed up, and he was ultimately arrested on the non-existent charge of brutally displaying a firearm. It doesn't take long to peruse the criminal code to find out there's no such offense. Um, during the second trial, they used as a predicate for him uh, interfering with the, the performance of the duties of a public servant. Uh, Mr. Grisham was a recently returned combat veteran, and uh, you will understand that maintaining possession of your firearm is your life, just plain and simply. For literally a second, when the officer grabbed his weapon without notice, he held it and then released it. There's video of it all over the place. Uh, the reason he was walking on the wrong side of the road was there was a fork in the road ahead, and there was a limited sight distance due to terrain, and it was much safer to walk on the right side of the road to take the right fork in the road. Ultimately, he was convicted based on that fraction of a second that he instinctively held his firearm and then released it with interference with a public servant. Uh, this bill would use common sense to let you decide where you should walk for your own safety. And for those reasons, I am very strongly in support of it. It provides too many opportunities. The existing law provides too many opportunities for abuse by law enforcement. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your testimony and being, excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. One second. Members, any questions? Thank you for your testimony today. 